why was Dr. Disrespect banned from Twitch is a question that we have all been asking ourselves for quite a while now. And usually with bans, you kind of know, especially permanent ones, you usually know the, the, the reason. But the one with Dr. Disrespect for a lot of us came out of, I don't know, is it left field, right field? I don't know which field it's called anymore. It came as a surprise. And a lot of people obviously went into speculating. Of course, some people said they knew, but they couldn't say, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think there is some people that know exactly what it is, especially by now, um, including Dr. Disrespect. I'm pretty sure he knows exactly why. Um, but that's just the thing. We have all been speculating. Could it have been something about him uh, again, cheating on his wife, could it have been, you know, tax evasion, could it have been something to do with kids, uh, could it have been, um, you know, your mind just went everywhere, because you couldn't imagine what it was, and yet everything was on the table, and that, today, <laughs> being Easter, I think I finally internally found out why and i'll explain to you the reason why i believe is that dr disrespect got banned to put it simply in one word is risk dr disrespect ultimately represented too much of a risk for twitch and its platform and the reason i came down to this Conclusion is because today, uh, being Easter Sunday, Dr. Disrespect decided to, you know, wish everyone a happy Easter. Now, I follow Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Disrespect on Twitter, and usually most of his posts are really funny, and I enjoy them, and I like them. And if anything, I've always been, uh, you know, a supporter of him. If you go and just go sleuth through my feed as far as Dr. Disrespect, I've uh, always been a fan. I think maybe I, I am a critical person, so if I need to tell someone something, I will. Hence why I responded to him at, at this in, in this tweet. Um, but the thing is, for the most part, it's always been positive. Now, today, the, the whole light bulb went off is because he tweeted out a happy Easter and he tweeted out this, right? And hopefully I have a picture of it when while I'm talking here, and he is basically, um, you know, I, I guess some people are saying he's mocking Christianity or mocking Jesus or something. I really, I, I don't even know exactly what it is. And when I saw it, I just felt a gut punch. And the funny thing is, I'm, for all intents and purposes, an agnostic person. Uh, yes, I did grow, grow up as a Christian, as a Catholic, but it was rarely, you know, enforced or very loosely enforced. Um, I, you know, I do believe in, in, in Jesus as in that he was a person that existed. You know, he was a pretty much a, like a rebel, a revolutionary. You know, he, he gave it to the man, to the system. And uh, I value that and I value, um, you know, his teachings. Because there's a, there's a lot you can learn from the guy, just like you, you can learn from Gandhi or from any other, you know, historical figure that we have records of. So, you know, I, I, I dig the dude. <laughs> um, but, but so, I'm not really religious. I, well, I'm not religious. I'm, I'm not really, I guess, Christian or Catholic, if you, if you really want to box me into that I guess you could but usually I these things don't phase me but when I saw this tweet I don't know it felt like like under the belt for some reason I'm like oh I don't think um, I don't think you want to go there man so that was that and the thing is that <laughs> um I I I kind of felt like uh I didn't want to support Dr. Disrespect anymore. 
I felt like, uh, I don't know. I felt a little let down or, you know, disappointed. I don't know what I, what I felt. I was just like, you know what? I don't feel like following people that do this kind of stuff. You know, not because it's particularly Christ or anything, but it's just the whole, I think the whole disrespect theme or motto is just, you know, going into places where I didn't believe or didn't expect it to go. I always thought that the whole disrespect theme was of, you know, gamers, uh, you know, how this whole persona he has about, you know, the 80s, macho, um, competitive, you know, uh, you know, peacockish, you know, attitude. And I like that, and I and I like that whole you know persona and that whole fantasy, but it just seems that a lot of people, and this is coming from this one tweet, are taking that and just being um, completely uh, liberal in the ways that they can apply that. And the thing is that, okay, this is to me it felt <laughs> disrespectful, just in bad taste, right? This tweet. And a lot of people made that known. They replied and said, hey, you know what, Doc? Um, you know, I really don't like this, or you, you crossed the line and everything. And I didn't say anything to that effect, personally. Uh, what I wrote, and let me go back up here and say what I wrote, because it's not that it bothers me, per se. It's just, um, just I don't know. It gave me a bad taste in my mouth. Or something. It just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you say. So let's see where the hell is it? Let's see here. All right. So here, here it is. I'm like, oof. Religion is something I would steer clear from. I get he's doctor disrespect, but there's levels of it. And this feels real low. Kind of not happy anymore that his book just got delivered an hour ago. I guess it's just another stripe on the tiger. And the meaning behind that is just that, you know, religion is something that is, I mean, sacred to a lot of people, very personal to a lot of people. You know, it it, it goes right into some people's, you know, uh, soul or persona or ego, whatever it may be. And it hurts. And it, I'm like, he didn't, I don't think he even needed to do this, you know. So religion is something that, you know, I am very vocal about. Uh, anything, right? And I, I say, like I said, my, my whole thing is a, you know, juggernaut, juggernaut unleashed or unchained. I don't remember what the hell I put on my bio. It's just that I am not going to be held back. But then, then again, um, again, it's not being about being held, held back is where do I focus that energy? And religion is something that I do not feel that I need to, um, go. It's, it's personal. It's, it's like invading other people people's you know I, I don't know I, I really don't know their person I just something I don't so it was funny because at the same time I got because I was asleep at the time lately I've been waking up really late I got the notification that uh, his book um, was being delivered and at first when he announced his book months ago I was like okay great nice and I just didn't, didn't feel compelled to to purchase it or pre-order it but then uh, it went down in price, and then uh, I happened to uh, uh, be watching YouTube, and there was a stream he had on, because I think he only streams three days a week now. Um, it popped up on my uh, my feed, and he's all like, he, I, I could see the little thumbnail that he was signing books. And I was like, oh, cool, he's signing books. Right? And I, I just click on just because I was doing something else just to have him in the background or whatever. And I see he's signing books, and on the corner it says, oh, uh, you know, click here to get your limited edition signed book. And I'm like, oh, a signed book? Huh, might be something nice to own. You know, I do like the doc, and I, and I want to support him. And if I can get something that is actually, you know, signed by the person, that's that feels kind of cool. So I clicked on it, bought it, 20 bucks, and here it is. Um, I have it right here, signed, you know. And, um... I later uh, was, I, later after I purchased it, I'm like, oh wow, it's probably going to be one of those books that it's it's signed, but it's just a, like a facsimile, you know, it's just printed on or whatever. But to my surprise, when I finally got it, uh, no, for all intents and purposes, it looks like it's legitimately signed 
by Dr. Disrespect. I mean, it's, let's see, let's show it right here. You know, it's, uh, it's in different ink. And the way you can kind of tell is because there's like a smudge. You know, it looks like a smudge right on top of the D. So I, I guess as he was, you know, writing on it, he probably has some oil on his finger or whatever. And then if you uh, you rub your 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 finger over it, you can feel the indentation of the of the pen. Actually, you know, it's it's very hard here in the first like where the initially um, um, did the signature, and I'm like, holy crap, this is pretty cool. So. The thing is that yeah, I am a fan. I'm I'm a fan, I'm a, and I've been a supporter for quite a while. And all this came, you know, today. And coming back to why he why he got banned is like okay, I think I get it. He was he was a brand risk. And why was he a bad band uh, a brand risk? Because of all I said. Uh, when he was banned, you didn't know what it was for, and yet you thought it, we, we we could speculate on so many things, right? So that's just, it, it runs the gamut as far as risk goes. And especially in this day and age with this, with this climate on social media and online of, uh, you know, being left and right and just uh, the wars basically that have been raging on. Um, I can see how things can, you know, how in that time they probably seem like a risk because Dr. Disrespect started to, I remember in his last uh, streams, uh, he was very particular about the Shungite, you know, the Shungite and putting it around and sometimes you just never really knew all this like conspiracy theory talk because he was also talking about uh, some people, uh, some, I think it's conspiracy theories people, you know, uh, that are online or whatever. I think he started to like, um, not precisely promote them, but like mention them and about thinking for yourself. And it kind of like got that vibe, right? But, but you never, with the, see, with Dr. Disrespect, you never knew if it was a joke, if it was a meme, or he genuinely wanted and was to steer people towards those things, right? So, uh, only the only people who can tell you for real are the people that know him. They're like, no, he was really, you know, that, that Shanghai shit, he was for real. He had it all over the house, you know? Uh, or did he just have that one there has a prop? Again, was he really watching a lot of videos from these, uh, you know, conspiracy theorists and about these ideas, you know? And so, I think, again, it's because of uh, that that they probably banned him because of the risk. Because of the, uh, the 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 online media climate, because as he posted this, right, a lot of people started to mentioning, oh, a lot of people getting butt hurt, a lot of people getting angry, uh, oh, I just came here for the comments, and then I I read some that said, hey, do Ramadan next, uh, and it's it's like okay, I'm I'm starting to see where they were probably concerned. Because maybe a lot of his followers were those kinds of people that like to, you know, ruffle feathers. They like to be incendiary. They like to trigger people. They like to poke them and, and, and see how they react and get a get a laugh out of that. And that's what I'm seeing, you know, in a lot of these comments, you know. Uh, here's one. It says, Doc, do one for Ramadan after sunset. You feasting. And it's, you know, this thing about, you know, gorging on food. It's a gif about gorging on food. And, uh, you know, that goes with the whole disrespecting things. And, you know, and how uh, these these guys, that's what they want him to do, to just piss people off <laughs> and watch them react. So uh, when when is it going to get to the point where he really crosses the line or he really does something stupid or... Uh, something that is that'll just bring a lot of heat to particularly Twitch because he's a primarily a streamer and the oh, well you're advocating this you know what if he uh, all of a sudden as a joke or whatever was uh, anti-semite or something because if you remember back then he used to always uh, make fun of uh, PUBG 
you know, and these guys over there in Asia, and he would always, he would talk this little, like, made up language and this and that, and that, um, you know, he even had to defend himself that he wasn't racist, you know, that he had um, married a, uh, a, uh, I think she's Hispanic wife or Hawaiian. I don't know. You know, how can he be, you know, racist or something? And, um, I mean, you can, you can, you can, you can still can be racist. Maybe not a lot. It may, it reminds me of that, uh, that musical, the one that said, the one is like, everyone's a little racist. And I think that's true. Everyone has a little bit in them, you know, but you know, you always keep it in check. You always, you know, recognize that it's not something good and but you know if you can you want to joke about it you want to joke about it but dr disrespect being the character that he is it you know, pushes it pushes it right and it just feels that maybe some of these people some of these followers right his fans don't get it and they actually buy into this thing and like yeah he's a racist and then, yeah he's you know uh all right, or maybe he's, you know, the conspiracy, and then you start to trickle into, you know, like Pizzagate and all these other things, and Twitch was probably like, you know what, this is starting to get dangerous, you know what, let's just cut our losses, and we're done, right, and then once he, they banned him, uh, I think Dis Discord dropped him, and I think uh, get the game fuel, get, uh, the, 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 Mountain, the Mountain Dew people, I think they kind of dropped them and then they picked them back up. So I think that's just it. It's just risk. Risk that Dr. Disrespect could do something that could just bring hate to Twitch and, and to Amazon and to, I don't know, whoever else they thought they could affect. And they just, you know, they said, you know what, let's just get rid of them. So that's... Basically, that's all I really, really wanted to say. That we all have all been speculating on why he was banned. And I think it's just, you know, it's just all of the above. They just deemed him too much of a risk to keep him around. And it's so funny that, like, bef right before, a few months earlier, they had, you know, made this whole big deal about signing him. And I think maybe the whole deal, maybe the whole deal of signing him was with because of pressure from mixer you know um before they didn't feel they had to you know sign him and give him a big deal uh he was just on the platform right and uh, they didn't have to give him a red cent but then mixer put in the pressure and started poaching you know the big ones and uh, you know back then dr disrespect was was huge i mean he still is big but uh, as far as twitch he was he was up there you know and that might just have, you know, pushed them to make a, I guess what made it might have been a hasty decision to, you know, say, stay here and we'll pay you so much. But then maybe they heard that, you know, Mixer was probably not going to make it or who knows what these people, I mean, their jobs is to be informed, right? And they're like, oh, well, now he's starting to talk about conspiracy theories and Shungai and, and this guy already has, a, you know, a checkered pass with you know the streaming in the bathrooms and and you know cheating on his wife and you know being racist or whatever you know allegations of you know, being racist or you know that his you know his fake language was somehow you know racist or speaking about PUBG so they're like you know what yeah it's too risky just get rid of him. so at this point. I think he knows the reason, and I think maybe they don't want to talk about it because um, I don't think it's something that is beneficial for Dr. Disrespect to um, really divulge that, hey, you know what, they got rid of me because they thought it was a risk because then they'll put that in their minds and like, oh, really, why did they think you were a risk? And then they're just going to start probably thinking about it and coming to the same conclusion that I just came about today in Easter Sunday. So... That's basically it. Of course, um, you know, I feel bad about it, but that's why I said, well, it's just another stripe on a tiger. That's that's him, and that's what it's going to do. Um, going forward, I'll still support Dr. Disrespect. I mean, it, it's not that bad. Uh, I mean, there's worse things that he could disrespect, right? 
But uh, yeah, no, it's I'm I'm probably just not gonna watch him as much as anymore, or be enthused about him as much as anymore. It has probably knocked it down a few pegs. But um, you know, hey, I wish him the best. Um, I'm still gonna read his book. Hopefully, it's funny, and hopefully, he you know he can just keep doing what he does. You know, but just I don't know. He, I don't I don't feel he needs to push the envelope. He's he's fine where he is. And uh, that would be great for him to just, you know, keep that keep that going. And, you know, I wish him the best. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you probably got some insight into it. And I'll uh, check you on the, on the next one.